through the previous 30 years that I competed, no one has done a records attempt on a plate rack with a revolver. So that's what I want to do. I want to establish a new revolver record, so see where that goes. Well, today I'm at the Smith & Wesson headquarters in Maryville, Tennessee. I was up way early in the morning, you know, seven hours before I got here. I was extremely tight. I haven't felt this heavy in a long time. Stop by. Coming into this record attempt, I hadn't shot revolver probably 10 years really hard at this level. So if I could get somewhere around a two, I'll just be tickled pink in three runs. If I can get a two, I'm, I'm good to go. At that time interval, I don't have time to correct the draw, so I got to live with it. And that's one reason the grip is designed the way it is, so I can miss it a little bit and still get it up on cue, get it into the target zone. That's what I'm focusing on, first shot, first shot. During that first run, I was the only one on the range. It was just K&I and I was back home. And I'm just relaxing, just wanting to get that gun out of the holster smooth. And that was the only thought in my mind. Shooter ready. Stand by. Woo. 2.01. Fortunately for me, I was able to connect on the first run. So it was, I was really happy it was over. I could have just walked away, said, that's it, guys. I'm not playing anymore. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> just want to thank everyone for being here this morning um, to support uh, the man who needs no introduction, Jerry Mitchellick here. Um, we have Aaron Farmer with the NRA that's going to present Jerry with his uh, new world record. Max has set the record at 2.05 for shooting six steel plates with a nine millimeter handgun at seven yards. Jerry here, I'd like to congratulate him. He ran six plates with a nine millimeter handgun at seven yards. His time official was 2.01. I had a 201 on the first set of records, and then, the, then we went for a revolver record. I'm gonna go a little bit faster, <laughs> see, see what happens. I was amped up. It was throttle wide open. Hard to do that. The first shot was a .87, and then he had a 20 split, a 20 split, a 21 split, a 20 split, and a 20 split. All I'm worried about is seeing, reading the target, where I've been, where I'm going, and just get feedback off every shot. Hey guys, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Smith & Wesson, of course. They've been a sponsor of mine now for 33 years and Hornady Manufacturing came in and gave me some supplies to make this happen. At Smith & Wesson, has started the actual trend of sponsoring shooters 30 something years ago. They were the only company that had a pro team and I was lucky enough to get on it at the, at the ground level and I'm still here and I appreciate their support and uh, you never know, sometimes old is new again. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> How'd the gun feel? Never felt it. That wasn't my problem. My problem is to see. The gun's gonna work. I just have to get it to the next target. Titanium spins so quick yeah. that it uh, it really it just yeah. fingers excited today. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> it's still going. It was it was very relaxing to have friends and family here. I didn't think it was going to be, but it, it really was. It was a good thing. I think it made it made me bump up to the next level. The reason I'm sitting here because every time I go to the range, I try to prove myself wrong. Everything I do, I want to get better. I never accept any one style or platform of shooting. I'm still at it, guys. I'm 69 years old. Once again, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. Appreciate right. the support. Hi, right, Jerry! What's next for Jerry Mitchell? I'd like to do some more revolver stuff. Maybe six out of a host on one target or something. It's just fun to race it, so. That's what I do. <laughs>